Hanmi Life. Ed Kolakowski, um, 49 years old, and been with the Sheriff's Department, for, going on my 25th year. My name is Natasha Smith. I am 38 years old. You're not supposed to ask those questions, um, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> and I have been with the Kent County Sheriff's Office for four years. My name is Shelby Humphreys. I am 27 years old, and I have been serving here for about two years and a couple months. My name is Deputy Crystal Stewart. I am. 34 years old, and I've been with the Kent County Sheriff's Office for five years. Han Me Life. All right, let's start first with these icebreaker questions, shall we? All right. <laughs> okay, so the first question I have for you today is, what's your favorite beverage? My favorite be Diet Coke. Oh, man. Um, oh, ugh. Coffee, I guess. That's a good question. I think my favorite beverage is Fresca. I would have to say... Uh, with a lot of cream in there. It's like a Sprite, kind of? I don't know, it's different. <laughs> Hibiscus tea with lemonade. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. Okay. <laughs> All right, next one. Han Me Life. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word Korea? I think of North Korea. Oh no. Pretty. Travel. Uh, honestly, it would be conflict. I think the culture and then just a little bit of what I've seen of the country. It's just really pretty. I actually really love traveling the world and I've been to a couple of different countries and I feel like that would be a pretty cool place to visit. Just because I listen to the news and that's what's the first thing that comes to my head. Han Me Life. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear North Korea? That I don't know. A country divide. I don't think I have an answer for that. I okay. don't think I know much about North Korea. Alright. Han Me Life. Have you ever had kimchi before? No, I have not. I have. I have not. <laughs> I don't believe so. Tell us about that experience. Um, it's a little sour. It kind of reminds me of our of American sauerkraut. So but it tastes just a little bit more healthier. A little less additives in there. If you had the opportunity, would you like to try it? Yes. It depends what it is. Okay. I'm usually pretty open to various foods. Mm -hmm. Do you like spicy food? Yes. Okay, then I would recommend you try it. What is in it? Uh, to, <laughs> the easiest way that I can explain it to you is that it's pickled cabbage. Oh yeah, I would definitely do that. Right. Yep. And it's a spicy dish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Han Me Life. What is the funniest thing you've ever encountered on the job? Oh gosh. The funniest thing. The funniest thing. Over the years, there's been so many. I, I, that might take me a minute to think. Probably, hmm. I, I just think there's so many. I mean, you're in this job long enough and there's a lot of things that, that are, are, are funny and that you see that are, that could be enjoyable. Got called to a car deer accident and the person that called it in, she was petting the deer as it was kind of dying um, and just did not want it to die and wanted us to save it. And, you know, we just can't save deers. I have to make fun of myself here. Probably when I was coming uh, back from a house from a complaint, it was snowing out, very, very icy, and I <laughs> wound up falling down on the driveway <laughs> with my partners, and we were all just uh, laughing as they helped me up, but it was <laughs> just like, oh my God, I can't believe I just fell. <laughs> it was a training exercise that I had with my dog. I have an explosive detection dog, and sometimes with the live explosives that we train with, a couple of my team members get nervous around them because they think they're gonna go kaboom. They're not, they're training, it's okay. But because it makes them nervous, 
my dog had knocked over one of the boxes and one of my team members screamed like a little girl because <laughs> he thought that things were going to happen and I had tears. I It was very, very funny. So now the running joke is I'm walking around my training aids and I'm like, eh. you know, like, then it makes people kind of jumpy. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Han Me Life. What's the strangest thing that you've encountered on the job? Uh, uh, um, strangest thing. The most unusual thing incident that I investigated was a uh, individual portraying himself as a doctor and performing circumcisions on grown men. Wow, okay. Probably the strangest thing is when people are in a mental health crisis and they're just not normal per se. When they're in the brink of that, um, they can hear things and smell things and sense things that we cannot see because um, they're having delusions. So I think for me, those are probably some of the strangest things um, I've encountered. When um, people are on some type of, of drug, um, it's very, you know, it's very weird to see the side effects or the effects that certain drugs do to people. Um, and we have to kind of react to what, you know, what they're doing or what they're saying. And we have zero idea. We can kind of take a guess from our training, but we don't really know so it's kind of hard for us to talk through that. It was a retail fraud. Um, somebody had an infection in their leg. It was winter time and they had ran away. We, had, we found them and they had stuffed cheese down their pants. Um, and so after they'd been arrested, we were searching them and then cheese started falling out of their pants. And it was kind of gross because it was starting to get warm. You know, the feeling of like warm cheese and that was probably one of the most odd things I've come across. Certainly one of the odder ones I've heard of. <laughs> Han Me Life. What is something that police officers can't stand that people do? Oh, man. Oh. I would say... I, I think over time, uh, if you go into a restaurant or you walk in somewhere, someone says, hey, I didn't do it. It's something that, that we hear every day and, and sometimes that it may get a little bit of annoying sometimes, and it's depending on what kind of day you're having. Stealing from people, hurting people. Probably when we're not working and people will come up to us and know that we're in law enforcement and say, you know, what was the coolest thing that you've seen today? You know, it never turns off. Or, you know, he did it. Okay, good one. <laughs> We'll, we'll take care of that. <laughs> Driving in the left lane when they're not supposed to, um, that's a huge pet peeve of some of us. Just being evil, I guess, really. It's just, it's kind of like a running joke. Han Me Life. What is a common misconception of police officers? I think one of the most misconceptions of a police officer is that the general public doesn't look at us as regular individuals. We're not human us being human, that we have traffic quotas, traffic citation quotas. And that they think that we don't have families or we don't have our own thoughts, our own opinions, our own ethical and moral values. We bleed the same as everybody else. We feel the same as everybody else. And you know, I love to laugh. I like Instagram too. You know, I like being out and trying new things. You know, I always try to tell people that is not the case. We don't have a department anywhere around here that's gonna say, you have to write five tickets a day. And society misses that, and when there is a uh, incident with a police officer that may do something bad or unethical, I think instead of just talking about that particular incident, that we generalize it and put all police officers in that group. We go through heartaches just like everybody else does. We're literally just no different. We just have to wear a uniform. We put our hands on our belt, and I think that people have a misconception of that. Um, when I'm just resting so that I can get some weight off, I'm not like reaching for anything. I feel like a lot of people have a problem with their hands being here. It's up to the officer and the situation at hand. So if you get pulled over and you get a ticket, that is purely up to the situation and the officer's preference. Han Me Life. What is one thing that police officers wish the public knew about? That we're human beings. Um, that we are humans. I wish the public would understand that it's not all about writing tickets, it's not about 
trying to make anybody's life miserable. I would think knowing just about more what we do, like having that trust and having those conversations, you know, coming to see us, coming to our events. And we really want to make a difference and we really want to help people and we want to be there um, for them because unfortunately most of the times that we meet people, they're in the middle of a crisis. We are trying to do our job and do it to the best of our abilities. We're only human, we do make mistakes, but we do care and we are compassionate. Letting us hear what your concerns are so that we can better ourselves and help the public. We have families, we have kids, we have animals, you know, we have life outside of the uniform. We don't wear the uniform all the time. We do go home and take that uniform off and mingle into the rest of society. Han Mi Life. Whenever I have a conversation with a Korean, uh, if we somehow bring up uh, law enforcement in the United States, there's always one adjective that comes up to describe it. Do you know what they say, sir? No. Not nice, maybe? Um. Scary. Scary. I was gonna say afraid. I hope I'm not scary. Uh, you don't have to be scared. We're not all scary. I can understand the scaredness and maybe it being a cultural shock. Maybe it's a cultural difference. If I was traveling to Korea, I would probably be nervous as well. I think we come across in uniform intimidating. All of us a bully personality. Sometimes with the encounters that we have with the police or with, with the public, that may be the only encounter that they have with a police officer. I personally try to make it at least be somewhat enjoyable. And they can walk away or drive away and say, hey, he treated me fairly, I did this, but he treated me fairly. I would hope that I would get that same benefit if I went there. We'd sit down with folks if they have that fear and talk about it and you know, see what we can do to make things be better and easier so that that kind of takes that fear away. We may not know the same customs that somebody else does, but we're definitely opening to learning so that it can be better for everybody we have positive experiences. We're all very outgoing. We love to talk, obviously, as you can see. Um, so I think it would just be awesome for people to have a conversation with us. I encourage people all the time, if you see us at a gas station, come up and say hi. You know, open that dialogue and start having a conversation with us. Get to know us so we can get to know you. Han Me Life. What do you like least about your job? Oh, the bad stuff. Seeing children hurt. My friends dying for no reason. Honestly, the schedule. Seeing children abused. I think that plays a toll on any police officer's psyche. My partner's getting shot for no reason. In the media. Bad publicity from the media. Yes, there is some bad apples in our job, but not everybody is. Some people just say, well, they're all bad, and that's just not that's just not the case. You work nights, weekends, holidays, and then when you throw kids into the mix, you have to teach them, okay, it's okay for mom and dad to be gone at night, or before you wake up, we have to miss school functions, we might not be here on Christmas, so Christmas isn't gonna be the 25th, it's gonna be the 26th, like that, that kind of stuff. Han Me Life. What do you like the most about your job? What I like most about my job is the unknown going to work every day. I love everything about my job. Oh, I love my job. Helping people. You don't know what you're going to be involved with. You don't know who you're going to meet. You don't know what's going to... Something could happen that's going to change your life forever. Um, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. This is probably one of the most rewarding careers. Um, it's tough. It's, it's tough out here with so many people who do hate you, but we also do have people who love us and appreciate us. We're here for both of those parties. My father was a police officer before I was. I, you know, have been able to watch him help the public, be able to have people call him when they're in a struggle. It's so rewarding to be able to help people or to be able to become even part of their family. There's people who send us personal Christmas cards or, you know, cookies or wherever it may be that we absolutely love and it's just getting to know everyone. A lot of times in law enforcement, that's when you're meeting people is when they're having one of their worst days of their life and being able to go in there and bring a calming sense to it and then taking care of the situation. Han Me Life. How can the public how police officers make their jobs easier. Maybe just sit back and don't do knee-jerk reactions over social media. I think that's where you have to build that trust. I think they can just talk to us or come and understand, you know, what we do. I think respect is the biggest one. Give the officers time for all the facts to come out. Communicate 
you know, if you have fears, you have to talk about them so that we can try to make it right. I'd be more than willing to go to them just to come to our events, be able to have a casual conversation with us even though I'm wearing this uniform. I'm a big advocate of I'm going to treat you how you treat me. When we hear something that takes place in the news and, and it may be an officer making a bad decision, before we make knee-jerk reactions, let's gather all the facts and have all the facts out there before we make social media posts and try to bash the officer and make the officer's life miserable. Let's get the facts first. If you're asked to do something, you know, maybe just do what we're asking as long as it's not something that would harm somebody or put them in danger or have them breaking the law or something like that. Have a conversation with us. Come talk to us. Be happy to have it over coffee or over Fresca, my favorite drink. So if somebody comes off very standoffish and yelling and swearing, that's going to amp things up. I'm still going to be respectful, but you're not going to get the smiley, calm crystal. You're going to get someone that's more serious and going to be taking charge on that. But I think overall, I think if everybody just worked together, um, then things would get easier between everybody. Han Me Life. Thank you very much for that. All right, tell me, is it lousy or what? Oh, it was perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Hey, anything else you'd like to say? Hi. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I want to come visit. <laughs> See, that wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, it wasn't. <laughs> 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 Can't say it was horrible. <laughs>